Hi everyone, welcome to Pop Paula's Workshop. Well, today is a big test. I wanna find out if I can take my laser engraver and engrave on a 7 16th inch dowel rod. If I'm successful, that means I can engrave and personalize pens for the Christmas season. Let's get started. Okay, I'm down in the shop today and this is just a real quick video to be able to work on engraving on a 7 16 inch dowel rod which is actually a little bit smaller diameter than a lot of the pens that I turn but if it works it's going to mean that I can personalize gifts for this Christmas now I'm going to set this up with a stop block because I don't want this moving now to be able to set the height of this, I'm going to use a second dial rod and use my little gauge to be able to set the height of the laser to begin with. And then I'm going to take this one out and slide this one over just so it doesn't move. And then I'll position the laser directly on top so that I can test and see if I can engrave this. Now this dowel rod is actually smaller than my bump stops. So that's why I've got to be able to do the measuring with these two before I can place the bump stop in there. Okay, I've moved this over the dowel rods. And I have this set where it'll come down 0 0.01 to begin with. And I'm just going to set that right there and we'll bring it down where it's close. All right, that is right there at it. So I'll go ahead and pull that out and see I'll be able to slide that in and I don't need to do anything else. I really don't need to clamp this one down. All right, the Z-axis is now set. Okay, I've opened up Lightburn software and what I'm going to do is just come up here to a recent project that I did with the pen and there is my words. So all I've got to do now is just go ahead and bring this into focus. Now this is just a real simple text and I'm going to see if I can engrave Papa's Workshop on that 7 16 inch dial rod. It should be interesting. Okay, I've moved the machine back and I hit the fire button and I have put the There we go. Now I have put that laser right on the top center of the uh, dowel rod. Now I'm going to slide this over to approximately the center and that will be good enough for this test. Alright, let's see if we can do this. All right, I want to show you real quick on this font that this is 0.1247. So basically this text is an eighth of an inch tall and is only 1.3 inches long. So I'm going to see just what this looks like. Yes. Let's go ahead and engrave this. I'm coming over to the laser and I'm going to hit the start. There we go. All right, let's see what happens. Let's take a look at the results. 
Okay, you're seeing this for the first time just like I am. And we can pull that out. And there we go. That actually looks amazing. Now I think what I can do, I'm going to do the same thing now. And I'm going to do this in two passes and see how that works. But guys, this is perfect. What I can do now is do pen blanks and engrave people's names for Christmas gifts onto the pens. I think this is going to work out fantastic. Okay, what I'm going to do is just turn this over now and put it down at the bottom. Slide it back in place. And just push that back up there. I'm going to change the settings this time. I want to change the speed from 80 inches a minute down to 70 inches a minute. And what that will do is make it where it will actually burn just a little bit longer. It should make it a little darker. And I'm also going to change the pass and make it do two passes. So there we have. 70 inches a minute at 100% power with two passes. Let's go take a look and see how it looks. Alright, let's go take a look at it. There we go. That absolutely looks awesome. So there's the first one, a little bit lighter. And then I turn it over to see the one that's a little darker. This is going to work great. Okay everyone, it's time to look at the results up close. So this was the first test that I did. And this was with... 80 inches per minute on 100% power with one pass and that looks really really good then we switched over and I did this where I dropped down to 70 inches per minute and I did this with two passes this also looks great what this means is for Christmas this year I can actually pick out some really nice pens and engrave and personalize each one of them with the person's name on it. What better way to give a Christmas gift than personalize the item with their names on it? Hi everyone, thank you for watching my video today. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified on the different videos that I upload. Also check out the videos over here to be able to stay up to date on the happenings in my shop. So again, thank you for watching my videos.